And here's the shark skin from the front elevation. One thing I forgot to mention is that it has a minimum four inch overlap for Dade County, which is cool because the standard is a two inch minimum, but with this is four inches. And when I was talking about it, it was less demanding, it's a uh, four feet wide when we lay this down, so it's less labor intensive because the 30 pound felt not only weighs more and covers less, it also is only 36 inches wide. Uh, also the tin cap spacing on a 30 pound felt on a tile roof would be six inches on center, which is what we put on the application for this uh, permit. But uh, I just found out that you can use 10 inches uh, on the three rolls in the middle and then on the laps you put six inches on center. So actually what it's approved for, for roof tile, is actually less, less uh, intensity with uh, installation of the tin cap. And that's because the tin cap with uh, synthetic felt is above 250 uh, pounds pull-through resistance for each of these shiny little tin caps. For regular standard 30 pound felt, the average is 40 pounds of pull-through resistance. So this roof, whatever you stick on it, if it has a high attachment resistance, it's going to be able to operate parallel with something that has a really high attachment resistance. For instance, the hybrid, just the pans alone, are 727 PSF. That's over 500 mile an hour wind force. Uh, minimum on the roof tile, you have 190 foot pounds of attachment resistance. That'd be about 275 miles per hour. So if you have a really superior roof system, you want a really superior underlayment system.